Salawam to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Ha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. Shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled End Time Prophecies Will Come to Pass, Man. And uh, this really comes from the inspiration from watching that Civil War movie. You know, I went with uh, two other beloved brothers uh, yesterday to watch Civil War. Yeah, we're a bit late to the party. You know, just life and life gets in the way sometimes, man. But um, yeah, man. So uh, we watched that last night, and it was a very, you know, sober, sobering reality, man. That these things that we preach about, that we bring out in the scriptures, you know, like we ain't just talking out of our ass, like. We say these things, these prophecies, no matter how positive or negative they are, we say these things because that's, you know, what the Most High is going to bring forth, whether you want to hear it or not, whether you like it or not, all right? This is the, the, the set judgment that the Heavenly Father has set, and which, let me actually start here in the book of Jeremiah 51. Right, so this is Jeremiah 51 and 24 and it reads and I will render unto Babylon uh, which we know modern day Babylon is 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 America okay Babylon the Great right, or you can even call it the the daughter of Babylon okay and I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight saith the Lord behold I am against the O destroying mountain, which mountain goes back to government. You know, most of the time when the scriptures is talking about mountains, it's talking about, you know, government. Alright, you got the mountains and then you got the hills. Hills would be like the smaller governments. Okay, so it says, Behold, I am against the O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyest all the earth. And that's exactly what uh, this mountain, Babylon or America, has done they have destroyed the earth by um you know by whoa well, one of the main ways they've done it is by way of democracy you know their their uh their wicked democracy man which has spread throughout that influence has spread throughout the whole earth you know you got many countries that have followed suit you know they got the alphabet agenda you know among many other things all right but the point is that, that destroying mountain is America Okay So behold I am against thee O destroying mountain saith the Lord Which destroys all the earth Right And I will stretch out mine hand upon thee And roll thee down from the rocks And will make thee a burnt mountain And this is exactly What's getting ready to happen man The most high through Yahweh through his only begotten son Yahweh Shai is getting ready to make America a burnt mountain by way of nuclear missiles and concentrated fire from you know what the world would call chariots okay but before it, it gets to that you're gonna have the the breaking down of society which is what we witnessed in the movie Civil War Okay, you had the breaking down of society, man. Where you know, you, you, like, it will be in your best interest that you go get some more fuel for your vehicle if you got one, uh, whilst it's above half tank because you don't want it to go into E and then you're in a situation where you can't actually refuel. Because in one of the scenes, I'm gonna spoil it a little bit, in one of the scenes. 
you know the the press was trying to get some fuel and 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 uh you know she had three hundred dollars to give and you know this you know <laughs> the times that we're heading into there's going to be hyperinflation all right we have inflation right now that's why you have the cost of living crisis and everyone's complaining about oh yeah you know affordability you know it's expensive <gasps> life is just expensive in general what the hell is going on so you got something called that's crazy man you got something called uh, a cost of living crisis all right which we're all in the thick of it right now to be honest you know we're all, we're all, we're all feeling the pinch man especially those of us who ain't we ain't really got much here all right but you know damn 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 these demons out here man see this is crazy these people driving all crazy and shit man that's why we just need to get out of it man so you got the cost of living crisis right now with inflation but we're headed into a time where there's going to be hyperinflation man the guy said to you know the guy one of the guys who was at the petrol station i knew who had guns one of the guys at the petrol station said um um what did he say three hundred dollars will only get you a sandwich i got ham and i got cheese you know for three hundred dollars you're getting a sandwich so that's hyperinflation and then she said i got 300 canadian you know which goes to show you that you see that that american money man that american dollar the dollar dollar bills y'all 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 you know that that is being devalued by the second man and that's going to be null and void in the time of tribulation and it's only going to be as good to wipe your ass you know so um Second Edris 13 and 31. Second Edris 13 and 31 reads, And one shall undertake to fight against another. And that's what you had in Civil War, man. You know, because it was this, the, the movie was, was centered around like the press, right? Because you know how the press, they always capture everything. You know, they, they always capture what's going on all these events and so on and so forth they're always in like the thick of it so you know it's a great kind of storyline to to have a reason to to you know always be around that kind of environment you know if that even made sense it made sense to me but you know so it says second edge 13 and 31 and one shall undertake to fight against another one city against another one place against another one people against another and one realm against another and that one realm against another is talking about when uh yahweh michael and the rest of the angels wage war against esau edom and and, and their five uh, military military fighter jet planes all right that's that's what that's talking about okay but you see man when, when we walked out of that flick Right, there, you know, there was a very what's wrong with this guy, man. There was a very sobering. These guys were driving crazy, man. Just fucking demons, bro. You know, there was a very sobering spirit. You know, Ooh, and, and, and you know, in the in that in that cinema, it was predominantly Edomites, right? And um, you know, they 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 weren't saying a damn thing. They was humble, man. You know, they was humble. They was real. They was real quiet, man. Because in their mind, it's like, well, shit. What if this thing really does happen? You know, what what what, what, what are we gonna do? Kind of thing. All right. Because because that time of destruction is drawing nigh, and that's something that and and the, the reason why it's extremely sobering is because you walking out of the cinema. I mean, you're walking in the cinema and you're seeing that kind of environment. But then on top of that, you're witnessing what's going on out here in the world, man. You know, you're seeing the direction 
in which the world is going and in your mind you're thinking oh shit what if you know i know them edomites that 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 you know came out of that flick they was thinking well what if this really does happen what are we gonna do when we're faced with this situation you see and that's why you know we need yahweh ba shimmy al shai man because ultimately we ain't gonna be able to save ourselves all right it's only gonna be through the mercies of yahweh ba shimmy al shai that will be saved man you know because them guys man they they you know they were pretty much powerless all right you know all, all they had was their guns which you know that's that's esau edom's blessing right the sword so all, all they had was guns man which what's a gun to someone that's got spiritual power you know what's a gun to to to, to, to you know a man that that yahweh shimmy shai is dealing with man you know a gun ain't gonna do shit in that time okay but you see the lord speaks about the plagues that's gonna be brought forth from the world, man. You know, Second Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I'll bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's exactly what you saw happening in that film. You saw all of these plagues playing out, man. Alright, and you see, this is the real sobering reality of what's getting ready to happen out here in these streets, man. Predominantly America. And that's why the scriptures say in Isaiah 55 To seek ye the Lord while he may be found You know, call upon him while he is near Okay, because the time is coming where You're, you know All you're going to have is all, The only thing that's going to save you Is your faith in Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai. You know Because the gun is only going to take you so far all right the sword is only going to take you so far your mouth is only going to take you so far wherever you got man okay second edges 15 and 14 woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands all right so so this is what you had going on in civil war and you you already know the scriptures say matthew 12 and 26 and if satan be divided against satan how then shall his kingdom stand all right so the moment these edomites decide to go against each other that which they already are doing now and you're seeing the results of it that's spelling the downfall of their kingdom and one thing that I noticed as well in the movie, you know, like you had the, the press people who, of course, were on the front line. All right. Um, and, you know, the two women, their family members were trying to, you know, they was in like some farm somewhere, quiet. Because they were, you know, trying to act like none of this shit is happening, man. All right. But you see, you guys ain't going to be able to escape the judgment of Yahweh Ba Shimi Shai. You ain't just gonna be able to just oh uh 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 let, let me just go somewhere and just and just you know pretend this ain't happening because this this is happening man eventually it will meet you because there was they ended up in a town where you know everything appeared to be cool alright but ultimately look all of America all of Babylon the Great is is gonna be on fire you have to understand that all right and everyone in america that's not of the elect that's not protected is going to feel that wrath of yahweh ba shimi al shai all right so you know yeah you, you you might okay cool you might be in a state where maybe you know it's happening in another state and it's not happening in your state yet all right keyword is yet but try and know man eventually it, it's going to touch your sides of the water man okay the Lord said he is against the old destroying mountain and he will roll thee from, from the top of the rocks, man. So he's going to de utterly destroy America, man. Babylon the Great. 
Okay And one of the first ways He's going to destroy America Is by destroying Is by having the people Destroy themselves Hence the movie Civil War Okay Second Ezra 15 And 15 For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh And one people shall stand up And fight against another And swords in their hand For there shall be sedition among men And invading one another They shall not regard their kings nor princes And the course of their actions shall stand in their power Right so they ain't gonna care what big daddy government has to say Okay Big daddy government says give put give you know hand your guns in They ain't gonna hand in shit Alright That's Esau's blessing man That's like how you know you know uh when you're a child right and you you get grounded and and you know your mum takes your phone or something and 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 you know that's your phone man so you know that just sets you the wrong way and you just you know you're vexed man you're hurt you're angry you're pissed off because you took your phone away well that's that's what this government is trying to do with Esau Eden man trying to take away uh, uh, Esau Edom's blessing Which is the sword Modern day sword being the gun Alright This devil's gonna try and t You know Cause I, I remember You know they had that thing where They was talking about Ah oh, Um For people to hand in their guns Okay And, and the reason why they're doing that is, is You know So that they can have the upper hand when a situation like what was in civil war plays out all right verse 17 but still man they ain't going to be listening to big daddy government man people are going to take matters <laughs> into their own hands and deal with situations they deem to be the right way which are, which will involve a lot of violence so second Ezra 15 and 17 a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, right? You had checkpoints and, and, and you know, you give that wrong answer, you either get turned away or you get blown away, okay? And that whole, oh, equality spirit, you know, we're all the same, you know, we're all Americans, that fuck off, man. That day, that, that shit ain't gonna work in that day, man. Especially if you're, if you're a ninja. All right, cause you had this, you had this, <laughs> you had this Oriental dude, man. <laughs> His last word, <laughs> hey, that's jokes. Hey, man, you had this Oriental dude, yeah. And his 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 last words were, "I from Hong Kong." <laughs> hey, those are his last words, man. His last words were, "I from Hong Kong." <laughs> <laughs> then his ass got sent to the spirit realm, man. Alright? You know, all of that, oh yeah, we're all American people, man. Hey, be specific. The Edomites say, what kind of American are you, man? You know, what kind of American are you? Where in America are you from? I'm uh, from Missouri, I'm from Florida, I'm from wherever, man. Delaware. Well, I don't even know, I'm just naming places. You know? But I from Hong Kong? No, man. Invalid answer. Boom. Straight to the spirit world, man. <laughs> Get out of it. <laughs> Cause you know you uh you got all kind of you got all different nations up in uh, Babylon the Great, man. You know you got you got every, all the nations really. You got Israelites. You got Elamites. You got Edomites. You got Moabites. You got Ammonites. You see, but then when them race wars come into play, man. Yeah, you, you ain't all gonna be Americans anymore. Nice, I'm from America and then I'm from Hong Kong. <laughs> I'm from Hong Kong. <laughs> hey man, if you watch that film, go hey, go check it out, man. Go check it out, man. I thought there were certain parts I thought maybe dragged a bit. I think maybe the ending was a bit. I think the ending was a bit shit, in my opinion. You know, like the drama and the film, and then the ending was just a bit meh. Like, but end of the day It solidifies the point Of the times that we're living in right now You know that's that's the main thing It solidifies um, You know 
the things that is to be expected. <sighs> We've heard of the time that we're in. It's a lot, yeah. You know, you know, Second Edges 15 and 18 goes on to say, for because of their pride, and that's one thing about these people, man, these people out here are extremely prideful, man. And the scriptures say, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fool. You know, so many people, so pride is going to be the end. Of, uh, of, of of many people out here, man. You know that pride demon. You know, which is why, you know, the, the scriptures say how, you know, he, he, the Most High, he's near, he's near to the to the humble. What's that? The, the the broken and contrite spirit, man. If you're of a broken and contrite spirit, you ain't walking around with pride, man. And you see, the elect ain't prideful individuals, man, because the elect understand that really they ain't shit. Without the spirit of your Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, and that's that's what we have to realize, man. You see, all them all them guys in that film were through because none of them had the spirit of your Yahweh Shemi Al Shai to protect and defend them, man. But the scriptures say, you know, you got Isaiah forty-one. It says, "Fear not, thou worm, Jacob." All right, it's the Most High that's gonna defend us, man. So although we're going to be in a, a, a situation like what we witnessed in that movie Civil War, Yahweh Ba Shemi Al Shai is going to deliver his elect, man, and is going to, to, to protect his elect. You know, Psalms 91. He who dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, what's the secret place of the Most High? These scriptures, man. Read Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and 1. All right, but the secret place of the Most High is these scriptures. Okay, let's finish this. Second Ezra 15 and 18. For because of their pride, see, because of that pride, right? The city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Man, the scriptures talk about men's hearts failing them for fear. That's in Luke 21. Because of the things that they see, man, you're gonna, you're gonna have. You know the civil war playing out, race wars, class wars. Uh, you're gonna see the chariots of the Lord. You're gonna see Leviathan. You know you're gonna see uh, uh, the, the elect men raised up with spiritual power. All kind of things, man. Men's hearts failing them for fear. So man are just gonna have to give up the spirit, man. Give up the ghost. You know, because their hearts are gonna fail them for that fear, man. All right, but the scriptures say to us, those of us that believe, fear not thy worm Jacob. All right, Isaiah 41, around about the 11th verse. Okay. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, man. Oh, yeah, your neighbor who you just got on with, you even gave them the spare key. You know, they can just go around whenever they like, check on the house. Yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of knocks on doors. Of guys trying to take back the key Like yeah that key that I gave you yeah, You're going to have to run that back you know Alright Because they you know People are going to be scheming out here You know Yeah no, nah, you're going to have to run me back that key you know Alright a man Because a man shall have no pity on his neighbour right But shall destroy their houses with the sword And spoil their goods Because of the lack of bread And for great tribulation So because of the lack of food the lack of water, the lack of resources. All right, there's going to be great tribulation, man, because there's going to be. Well, I need to, I need to fend for myself and my household. So you know, if it's me against you, then, uh, then you know, you're gonna have to go, kind of thing. That's the spirit that people are gonna be in out here, man, and that's why, you know, we need to, we need to fear Yahweh Ba Shimi Al Shai and pray, man, that we can be protected from these times, man. Because th these things are getting ready to come to pass, man. You know, we read these in the scriptures week in and week out. We bring it out on the highways and the byways and so on and so forth. But you need to understand that eventually, all right, in the near future, there's going to be a day where you're no longer going to have the prophets out there on the highways and the byways. You're no longer going to have brothers breaking down these scriptures because they, they ain't going to be a need to break down the scriptures because we're going to be living in those times, man. You see? Because we're going to be living in those times 
you know, uh, um, there's going to be no words to, to speak. It's like, well, we're here now. Well, that, that time of preaching is done. Now the judgment begins. All right. So these end time prophecies are going to come to pass, man, whether you like it or not. So I just wanted to touch on that in this morning edification. I pray, Lord willing, it's been edifying. And until next time, I say shalom.